Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the Champions Chess 2 game between Ding Liren and Magnus Carlsen, where Magnus sacrificed his queen, and this is your today's puzzle, 100 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, so let's go, Ding started with d4 we have knight f6, c4 which is called Indian game, he can go with bishop fumetto or other standard openings, all these moves are good and he can turn the game into English opening on his next move, e6 knight f3 and a6. This a6 move is not bad, his idea is to prevent b5 square from any future bishop attack and from the knight's entry, in Karo Khan, it's a popular line, further plan for black is to play b5 and bishop fumetto on the queen side then d5, another idea is to play b6 bishop here to hold the queen side position, d5 to pride, and white have two options to consider, knight here or bishop f5. Ding chooses to play knight c3 bishop b4 and the game turns into anti nimp so Indian defense bishop g5 h6 and taking the knight isn't good, we will see a check by the bishop and after takes queen takes the position will be drawable so bishop to h4, b6 Magnus wants his bishop on this diagonal, and the b6 move holds the queenside structure as a defensive army, e3 bishop d3 and after some more moves later, we have castle knight d7 and knight d2, Ding's idea is to play f4 to prevent g5 move of black. So he takes the advantage of playing b5 and h5, now f4 is not possible now, if you do then h4 will come to target it, bishop will return to his home and after pawn exchanges the g will be completely open for white which will be devastating so h3, h4 bishop backs, this h3 move stops black from moving his pawns but Magnus tries to open the position with g4 which is an inaccuracy, best was to play rook g8, let me show you the variation. If rook g8 happened to support the pawn behind from it then f3 will come queen here rook b1 and castle, game could play like this, let me show you the further variations, ding would play queen e2 e5, Magnus would tries to break the position then c5 and after pawn takes we will see bishop takes pawn pawn takes, this is coming so pawn takes knight d5, keeping eye to this pawn so e4. Knight to c3 to fork the queen and rook and after queen c4 knight takes rook white will be totally okay being down a material, rook takes b1 and the knight will come to create some possible problems and seize many squares, if you are a 200 elo human and plays f6 then it will be super dangerous for you, knight b3 and no matter what black will play, he will lose the game for sure, king takes bishop knight a5 check. You cannot take it because of this and king can't retreat on there because of queen a6 check, then it will be checkmate on b7 square so after king here, queen d5 and how do you protect this, there is checkmate in few moves and the game will be over for black, but in our actual game, instead of playing rook g8 he played g4, pawn takes and he sacrificed. Here's another pawn, the pawn cannot be taken, let me show you if you are an inferior human, after rook takes pawn the bishop is snipering on these pawns, it is totally deadly for white king, knight h4 will come and after takes queen g5 check to the king bishop blocks then rook h1 check will be mate, that's why Magnus planted bishop on this diagonal long time ago, so Ding Liren played g3 on this position, rook g8, mistake move, best move was to play bishop g2 to pressure white, because now Ding get a chance to play f3, this blocks the bishop diagonal so queen e7 and e4, the king is totally fine on this position, Magnus throwing all the kingside pawns to white, but, the king is totally secured by his strong pawn structure and pieces, how can Magnus break the position, his pieces are inactive and this h3 pawn can't do anything special, and after some more moves later, we have a4 by ding, he is threatening to play a5 to poison black's structure so Magnus stops it by a5. Rook b1 and Ding's plan is very shrap, play for advantages because black's king on queen side, rook here knight f1 f5, black wants to open file by capturing the pawns, once the file gets open, white king will face problems and you cannot take the pawn with f pawn because your g pawns will be unguarded, your pawn needs unity, so e takes pawn pawn takes and after bishop takes pawn, white is ready to bombard black's pieces he is one move away to lock the position and look at his past pawns. It will be totally devastating for black because rook is also there to support his army, knight g5 another mistake, he forgets to drink horlicks, the knight have no work on there, it's a wasted move, 
best was to play this but Ding played c5 mistake move, best was to kicking out the knight, here Magnus plays blunder move king b8, you might say, stockfish, you said king d8 is the best move, no fool, king d8 was best in the previous position, now king d8 is blunder, humans will never understand chess. Best was to take the pawn, because after pawn takes pawn, it explodes the kingside, you cannot take it with your pawn because he have no pawn brother to help him, so knight takes pawn, and this file is totally open for the rook, captive or eliminate these pieces to attack black king, ding plays d5 and you cannot take it because of this, bishop can't take it because of the rook, also the bishop can't take it because of the same tactic, and chess friends. If you want to smart in chess then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more episodes, bishop a6 to get active on this diagonal, we have queen d4 savage move, f3 and these moves are coming to cry you in the toilet, push these pawns with the rook, bring your knighted pressure to black, if you are a human then never believe in analysis bar, but Magnus blunders one more move, I don't know why human can't understand the difference between a blunder move and best move. Best was to play this, f4, knight e4 not bad and we have rook e1. Brilliant move, making profit by pinning the knight to the queen, what would you play? You can't play any normal move, for example bishop here then rook takes queen backs bishop e6 and after some moves later, the position will be just dead lost for you, game will be over for black, so, back to the position, here Magnus played knight takes e2, sacrificing the queen, but it's not worthy, you know, we have rook e2 check king up to f3, and after few more moves later, Magnus decided to resign the game, Magnus have to be careful about World Championship 2024. You clearly know the reason why Magnus resigned the game, after rook here and so on, and chess friends, do you know I started my spiritual channel, where I talk about human life and its existence, you can subscribe the channel named Krishna Consciousness, link in the description and I will put link in the comments, I guarantee you that you will learn from my spiritual channel very much if you have the courage, I hope you have the courage and love for God. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.